Okay, here I'm spraying a little bit of burnt umber and I am going back with my uh, Mars eraser and erasing out some highlights um, into the artwork here. It's kind of a never ending process. You spray, you erase, you spray, you erase. But all those little details will really add up into the end of your artwork. We need to keep in mind too, as the artwork comes closer, the more darker your colors will get. And um, the burnt umber is not gonna be the um, color that you see. I'll be laying more color on top of this and then erasing out highlights to get the look that I want in the end. When you're uh, airbrushing, you can use your other hand to brace um, if you're kind of wobbly or you have a shaky hand. You can use your other hand to brace your hand that you have your gun in to hold it up to give you more direct spray. And here I'm just using my... Uh, my uh, texture stencil to uh, spray in some textures into this uh, this heel. I'm probably going to pop that out pretty soon. I have a lot of these textured stencils, so this one's one that I left the cardboard on for some reason, but I'll be popping it off, I think, here pretty soon. I've been getting on the other side to lay in the color on this hill. And I'm just kind of not really hitting in one particular spot. I'm just uh, spraying here and there and kind of in circular motions, up and down motions, just giving it more texture. Here you see I've started and I've started in with some green to spray in some color because there's going to be some trees in the background. And I'm realizing at this point I, I really picked the wrong color green, which I will go back in later on um, in this portrait and fix. Um, the eagle is from a uh, print that I found but the mountain in the background and the rest of it is from me it's not part of the design but I wanted to do something different than what was in the background of the eagle that I uh, wanted to paint and I have sprayed some of that green on that limb as you see that's protruding out there and, and the color that I'm going to lay over top of that will cover that Here I'm going back in and erasing some highlights. 
on top of the trees there because the next few colors that I will spray will pick up those highlights and make it look like trees in the distance. Sometimes you have to uh, kind of rub off your eraser because you get the paint stuck on the end of it and kind of drags over the composition panel and smears and that's not what we want. So um, here I think I am spraying down the bottom of this tail which is kind of cutting off where you can't see. Sorry about that. I not real good at the camera yet and I do have a different type of holder coming so that I can get overhead shots and I think I'm going to clamp it to the ceiling and see how the camera goes that way let's hope it works because <laughs> I'm new to this I'm obviously just a painter not a video person but here I've uh, spread in some green on a, a, a hill that is kind of below the, the eagle, but underneath the eagle. And this green, I just do not like at all. So I can't wait till I spray something else over top of it because it's just, it's like bam in your face, right? But um, it's not going to end up that way, believe me. Now you can use an exacto knife if you prefer to scratch out some highlights i try to stay away from this as much as possible on a composition panel because you can kind of scrape the white off of a composition panel and you're left with that aluminum underneath so i try to stay away from it but sometimes you just have to use it and uh, uh, for a sharp white highlight I do like to use the dowel though. Uh, it's just a wooden dowel and you know I'm always continuously dropping mine and can't find it so sometimes I will take a a uh, old paintbrush and I'll stick it in my pencil sharpener the end of it and uh, sharpen it down and use that. So if you're ever in a, a clinch you know you can use an old paintbrush and sharpen it in a pencil sharpener and there's your dowel. But wood works real good with taking off the paint on the panel. And I'm going to spray white around the bottom of this uh, mountain to kind of give it a misty, hazy look. So um, I'm going to be coming in with some white and spraying around the bottom. And I'm even going... I think up over the top there where I have um, there you can see I went over the mountain there gonna give it kind of a hazy look even down into the, the tree line there and it it just kind of makes it look like you know there's there's a distance to it and that's what we want we want that light um, light haze back in the back to look like there's a distance and I know at this point um, I may have sprayed a little bit too heavy with the heel part there but hey never fear you can always fix any part of your work there's never a mistake you can't fix unless somebody comes in and just bangs the whole thing with a hammer <laughs> Which we wouldn't want that, would we? At this point, I'm really starting to like uh, getting tired of looking at the colors and I'm wanting to get started on this eagle. So, I'm spraying a little bit more haze over top of the eagle's head there, I believe. And um, with the white 
just maybe some little areas in the mountain that I wanted to pop out a little bit more. And this completes part three.